Good afternoon, everyone. So today I am on my way to Lynn um, Park. I will insert the phone name. I forgot what the phone name is, but Lynn Park. And I am going to hike and also try and go on the suspension bridges and just explore the park in general, but mainly hiking, I guess. Oh, I think. Um, depends on how the place is. I'm super excited. I got my roommate to borrow me his backpack because I don't have one. I've not even started hiking. I'm already out of breath. Wow, this is shameful. But yes, I'm currently walking. I have to take three buses to get to the park. So I'm currently walking to the first bus stop to get the first bus. <laughs> I don't know why I'm out of breath, you guys. I'm so unfit. It is almost scary, but I have my backpack. I should probably wear it on two hands. Ow, ow, shoot. So I'm not exhausted. I don't want it to be. <laughs> A part of me doesn't want it to be obvious that I'm going to hike because once people see this backpack, it's obvious. But I mean, who cares? I don't care. I shouldn't care. But um, yeah. Currently walking to so <laughs> this is going to be such an interesting day. I took a 1.5 liter um, bottle of water and then I took two um, 500 ml. I'm hoping that should be okay for me, but we'll have to see because I also don't want to drink too much water because one thing I've realized is when I drink water or I tell myself I'm drinking enough water I always want to pee every five minutes and it's annoying so I'm just not I'd rather be just a little dehydrated than have to pee every five minutes so I'm going to program my brain in a way that I wouldn't need too much water I mean I'm hiking I'm gonna need a lot but I'm gonna tell myself that I'm gonna be okay but let's go on this journey guys and see gosh I hope the suspension bridges are open because I saw on Google Maps that they're closed but I hope they're open honestly because that's one of the reasons I'm going oh, to this park but yeah we'll see So I definitely just missed the third and final bus to Lynn Varley Park. I literally, because it was like a shuttle sized bus and I thought it was for disabled people. But apparently it was the bus that I was supposed to take and I was staring right at it and it just left. Um, the driver looked like he was in a hurry too. He didn't even, he wasn't even like, were you looking for this bus and blah, blah, blah. But I think I'm hoping I don't have data so I can't even check when the next one is coming but um, it shows that another one will be here in about 20 minutes so fingers crossed that actually happens but it's so funny because I was literally staring at the bus but I wasn't sure if it was for for everyone or just disabled people but um, another one should be here in like 20 20 ish minutes and then I'll hop on that one but yeah, right now I'm just waiting at the bus station for, well, it makes sense that long buses can't go to the park. It does mean like now I've clocked it, that it makes sense because I'm like, I thought that was for disabled people. I'm not even gonna lie, but yeah, I'll see you guys when I get there. This is the last bus to the place and the journey wasn't even bad. This, this is one thing I love about BC transportation is very efficient here and like they go to the tourist attractions as well that's such a nice thing because not everyone obviously can afford to be in a car or an uber or you know take that uh, take a long um court long cut <laughs> long cut to the place that they're going to but yeah i'm happy that they make tra transportation very efficient and accessible here that is bay 12 that is um i'm taking 227 to lynn valley center 
Um, this is Fibs Exchange at Bay, whatever this bay is. I think this is Fibs Exchange Station, but yeah. I'm supposed to the bus was literally right here and I was just looking at it like uh is that for disabled people or no but yeah it was and I missed it I haven't checked in in a while I have it's safe to say that I have walked a full hour today um, I feel proud of myself and I feel very courageous because obviously I did this by myself with um, well I had direction because there's like trails in the park and there's also people that walk so I kind of for the first bit I tried to be amongst people as much as I could just so that because this is my first time here I don't want to get lost so I feel like one of the key things is to always make sure that the people you're with or just the people you're following are all going in the same direction and it doesn't have to be one particular set of people it can be multiple people but I feel like at the beginning especially if you don't know where you're going to um, definitely letting people take the lead especially if they're in groups but um i walked all the way to the rice lake i think it's called rice lake and right now i'm gonna try and walk back to the suspension bridge because i think this is the end of my walk slash hike um it's pretty like hilly up in this park so i did a fair bit amount of hiking and also the stairs i think the stairs was what um did it for me honestly because i was exhausted when i was done but this is so beautiful i was able to get some pictures i'll probably take some more pictures as well but i really really wanted to get a picture in the the canyon lake but obviously so many people are there i'm there by myself i don't want to disturb anyone or like i said be awkward so um i'll go back and if it's less crowded then i'll try and get a picture um yeah i wish i could swim honestly but i oh someone is sneezing but i don't have a swimsuit so yeah but right now i'm heading back to the bridge and um, hopefully the bridge is less crowded too so i can get a pic of myself i quickly just set up my tripod and get a quick picture of myself because that would be awesome but i'm gonna pitch you guys away for now 
so that I can focus on my hike and not exhaust uh, my arm by holding this camera so I still have strength. I finished one bottle of water so far. Like I said, I don't want to drink too much so that I don't have to go to the bathroom because there's not a lot of bathrooms here. Just one main bathroom, I think, at the begin beginning of the trail. And I don't want to have to hold my pee. That'll make me so uncomfortable, but... Rice Lake. I made it to Rice Lake. What I was really hoping for was to reach like a cliff and be able to see like an amazing view. But I don't think I'll be able to do that because I don't know where else I'm gonna go. Like there's no... Well, I, I feel like I can move this way, but I'm not seeing anybody walking. So I don't want to go by myself and get lost. Um, if you're ever hiking by yourself or on a trip by yourself, the moment you stop seeing people, just stop. Go back so that you don't get lost. I mean, look, there's a trail like right there, but I haven't seen anyone in the last couple minutes. Um, so I don't want to... I don't want to go and there's still a lot a lot of trees so I don't think um I think it's gonna take some more walking before I get to like the end end but yeah and I didn't see any bears Whew. I was thinking to myself I'm like okay I, I want to see a bear but if I see one what am I gonna do because it's like no noises no food I don't have food thank god I just have water but um they basically put a sign up that says no noises, no food. I wonder if anyone has actually seen a bear before in this park. Hmm. I'm curious. I wanted to ask the people that were coming back, but I didn't. But I'll see you guys when I get out of this <laughs> um, park. It's been a ride so far. I feel, I feel good. I feel okay and satisfied. I've gone on the bridge, seen the waterfall. Well, not waterfall. I just saw the canyon. Um lake slash pool i will insert the name of it if i'm not correct but yeah i'm heading back now let's see if it's less crowded or still the same because there's a lot of people there but 